going to do right now to get this camera to stay. Tripods are not made for cars, that is for sure. I've got my phone with the little sticky, you know, the sticky case like stuck to the media player. You no, know if we just. Okay, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I think work. we need to put something. It's it kind of looks so much smaller. I need to put my chair up. We need, to work on, we need to work on the camera setup situation in this car because it's actually the first time I have filmed or vlogged at all in my new car. It's so the first time welcome. I'm seeing it as well. Welcome, welcome to, to my car. new car. It's so we can do a little car tour later. It's so nice. Um, but yeah, we thought we would take it back to old school, do a little take it back to the come old. drive with us. Um, Although back in the old come drive with us is. We could like listen to music like and like you genuinely could yeah. drive but now, while vlogging, but that's just like not. But also, we there's no music. We'll get copyrighted if we have any music. Yeah. Yeah. So, so instead, it's going to be just come for a drive with come us. Come for a drive with us. We're gonna go get some matcha. There's this really cool new matcha place down the road. Have you tried it yet? Which I've not tried it yet, and I've been wanting to. It's been on my list to like want to try. And they so also do strawberry matcha, which I have still never tried a strawberry matcha. I have, and when I tell you it was the most revolting thing <sighs> I have ever tried. No, I'm and like it was one of those places. Me and my friend went there. And we were like, you know, we're gonna go was try. Was it a matcha place? Like authentic? Yes. Like it's. Oh. It was raved on about on TikTok. Wow. Oh. Like let's try it. And it was generally the most disgusting thing I've ever tried. And like I love matcha, but I think yeah. it was just. Oh my god, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> but it was generally just this particular one had the matcha, but then at the bottom of the matcha they just had like literally like this much. Of like strawberry jam, like oh. it was like a strawberry jam puree. I feel like everyone makes it so and different. It was as well. so like dark red, yeah. and so like when I would take a sip, I was literally just drinking strawberry jam, and mm. oh, it was so good. It was like, and it was thirteen dollars and fifty cents, and I was like, oh, I kind of I'm not I couldn't gonna drink lie. it. I could not drink it. I don't. Even though it's so hyped on social media, like I don't actually have that high expectations for it because yeah, I don't actually really have high high expectations for. Strawberry matcha because I just feel like it's an interesting combination because it, yeah I guess it really depends how the place makes it but I feel mm. like people that are using like traditional just like their own sort of strawberry jam or that they make they're making the strawberry flavor out of real strawberries I feel like you know what I think the just, ones that look like strawberry milk at the bottom like they mix. Look, so like a matcha and then like a strawberry, bright pink strawberry milk that you'd get like from a store. The Nest, the Nest Quit sort of yeah, strawberry milk. Yeah, whatever they're called. Like the, the ones you would drink when you were a kid, like a strawberry yeah. milkshake, those look good. They and look is that good. the one we're going to today? It doesn't look like strawberry jam, it does it? It kind of looks like strawberry jam. No, no, no. Okay, I can't get it then. No, but we have to try it. I'm also going to get, I'm also going to get plain, a plain matcha because I just want to try their matcha because they do called? have this one. Yeah. No, it looks like strawberry milk. Yeah, but there's stuff at the oh, bottom. Oh no, that looks good. It does. Look I'll good. show you the one. I'll it does show look you. Quite good. They also have. Oh my god, that looks so good. They have like a full-on strawberry. Ooh, okay, we'll try a few different things. Yeah, we'll get a couple. Oh, they look. Yeah, no, they look good. good. Okay, let me show you the one and compare it to what I got um, because it was. But yeah, this is also my first time vlogging in my new car. It's. it's I've, I've had it for probably like nearly maybe about a month now, but we just haven't like vlogged where I've been in my car yet and we haven't done like a weekly vlog which we're, is very yeah. true but that was literally it uh, that yeah. was a whole layer of strawberry jam yeah run don't walk I know people are hyping <laughs> up and I was just, me and my friend sent a tweet like surely um, we didn't try the same thing I mean each to their own some people could actually really like that yeah but all right, I'm keen. Do you know if I have? Oh, food? I need to get petrol. I need to get petrol as well. No, you know I'm pretty sure it's just matcha. Oh, but we could okay. find food to buy. What's your favorite song at the moment? Let's just have a quick listen before we're going to Scissor next week. So I, Scissor. I always, to be honest, I always listen to her. She's more, always my like go-to if I can't think of like can't find a playlist. I didn't put some music on. I'll just throw her on. Um. Oh, you can't like search a song in your Spotify. No, because oh, I don't you have don't can't have... play set up. I'm kind of liking Sabrina Carpenter at the moment. Like. One of her songs pops off. This what one, one, Espresso. Is it? It's new, but it's pretty good.
I've been here before and they never filled up my petrol. That old man's filling up his own petrol. Do they only fill up guys, girls petrol for them? I don't know if this is like so. Like the staff fill up the petrol for you. But remember in that time we were in Byron and I was filling up our petrol and the guy came over and was like, oh, can I help you? Like, can I do it for you? I was like, oh no, like it's okay. Like I was literally filling up the car myself. I was like, I can, it's fine. And we were like so confused because we never knew that was a thing. We were like, like not nice of him not to offer, really, but I'm so confused right now. Everyone else here is doing it themselves. And then, and then we were all like laughing about how like maybe he's like in. Remember we were all laughing. Like, maybe he's just into us, and like maybe like we were all so flattered. And then everyone was commenting like, no, this is like a normal thing. Like you go to petrol stations and like they offer to do it's it just, for you and help you. It like, isn't stuff. really like here though. I don't think. I've like, never come across on where it. you are. Maybe it's just like luck of the draw, like if you get here at the right time, someone will come out and help you because everyone else is doing it themselves. Okay, turns out the guy did help other people. It is a self-service. So it's like, it's a, the staff help fill it up for you. How do I get out of here? Getting into our scissor energy. Guys, let's turn this down. How do we turn this down? How do I turn it down? <laughs> Just go down. There you go. This matcha looks so good. It looks unreal. Oh, I feel look like I'm so far away. I think our camera setup before was really good. Oh, really it was tilting forward. No, I really liked it though. I'm so excited to show you. Does this make too much light on the top? I just look really washed out, but it's fine. If we move it in and move our chairs back. I'm so excited, so let's I, just try them. Honestly, the best matcha I think I've ever seen. Haven't yet tried it, but I think, like, seen. We've got to try the strawberry one together first. Yes, we did. We got two, we got a strawberry each and then just a normal one. Should we mix it? Um, I feel like oh, the pink's kind of dissolved. Yeah, you can't really see the pink. But, oh, you can see it a little bit, but it was like a strawberry milk that he was pouring. It looks so good. Uh, I'm curious what that is at the bottom. I feel it like looks it looks like a little jam. jam thing, but it's but not it was like just a like lot. a little squiggle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Ready? We didn't even have strawberry matcha in, in New York, did we? No, it wasn't really a thing. I feel like it's only a thing as a recently. I think that char matcha. How it was called? Yeah. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh my yeah. god! Oh yeah! Oh, that is actually so good. When I envision strawberry okay. matcha, that is exactly what this wins. That is exactly what yeah. I envisioned for it's it to like, taste. It's like, imagine drinking a matcha and you just taste like a hint of strawberry, strawberry milk. milk. Oh, so good. Wow. That's actually insane. Okay, exceeded my expectations. Yeah. I had really low expectations, but that is really, This really has good. redeemed me from my bad strawberry yeah. matcha experience for sure. Wow. Oh my god, that's so good. That is so yummy, but so dangerous. I'm gonna like crave that every day now. I wanna come get it. I wonder if I can like make it myself. Mm. Mm. I don't think I could though. I just, I'm determined to. I'm really curious what they used for the strawberry milk. We also got it with oat milk, so you can get it with like any milk. Usually I get, um, can you turn the car off? That's better. <laughs> Silence. Usually I get almond milk. With like my coffees and matches and stuff, but yeah. Mm. I kind of wish we got three strawberry matches now. We did, yeah, we, get, we did one, get one. We did get one normal matcha just to try like a regular matcha. As well. Oh, that is so good! Wow. Uh, oh mm -hmm. my god, I'm so redeemed. I feel mm -hmm. redeemed. <laughs> Is it sweet? I I feel like the matcha could be a little bit stronger, to be honest. Like a little bit more. 
Yeah, that it just tastes, tastes like milk. Weak. It tastes like oat milk. Yeah, that just tastes like milk, straight milk. Which one was mine? This one's mine. No, oh. I just put mine there. Oh, oh yum! That is so good. I, I don't want it to more end. Jam at the bottom. I'm gonna mix more. It literally tastes like strawberry milk. I don't know if you can see the jam. Yeah, you can. Anyways, guys, uh, should we go get some food as well to drink with our matches? If I don't finish it in like a few seconds. Yay! Hey, my food. Spilling it in my car, please. Is this the first time you've eaten in your car? It is. I also just oh, that smells good. I just cannot get over these strawberry matches. Just like that is unbeatable. So we have a prawn tempura, which are really good. I love them. And then these them? are also no, these are also my favorite, and they're the seared Yum. salmon teriyaki salmon. And then that is just like a chicken with a chili, I think, flake on top and like mayo and terracotta. Awesome. And then just a basic crumbed chicken and a curry. Yum. Which one is mine? This one? Yeah. Taste off. test. Do you reckon it's spicy? Probably a little bit. Oh my These God. ones are my favorite. Like... That I crave them nearly every day. So good. Oh my god. I haven't tried this yet. Lightly cooked. Mm. It's just so good. Mm. That is so good. Yeah, I really want to give you guys like a little car tour because I feel like when I went and test drove it, I just didn't even do the car justice for like when I actually got it. Like when I, like I'm still weeks later, I'll find random little things that the car does or like buttons. Or like things I'll realize and I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Like I didn't even realize he could do that. Or like just so many things that I've like realized after I went and actually looked at the car that I'm like, oh and my I feel God, like, like that's so cool. I feel I like you've that. gone from like a really old, old car to like that isn't very wasn't very mm, like like tech not, savvy or No. It was Like I didn't even have like an all cord or did it? No, it didn't have mm. anywhere to charge your phone like, in there or so you've gone from like you didn't really have like a medium car that like kind of mm. had some cool things. Like there's a little section there I can put my phone down and it charges. Wait, where? There. Your phone charges in there? Yeah, you just put it on there. Yeah, I've got a little charging pad too, but. And my bigger sunroof is so big and I Does yours it. like try to drive itself? Mm-hmm. Mm, -hmm. mm so I don't like. Like well, sometimes it'll just go, uh, uh. I know. And the second I go from like close to a line, it just like fakes me like that. It also has auto park, but I haven't tested it out yet. Like, I haven't really tried it. Wow. I have good sushi. Um, do I give so everyone, like, a little life... Down. Yeah, a little life update, because this actually was meant to be... We have, we're on our way to um, record our podcast. And we thought we'd just jump in the car and film a car video I before, know. because there's very little we can work with right now. So mum messaged our podcast, being like, oh, I thought Ash was moving to Sydney, and didn't realize you had a house like live had a housemate like can we get a life update like i'm so confused on like what's going on like so fair like i'm confused as well i'm confused too <laughs> no like not sure if she watches youtube but let's have a little uh, I, we can do one on we'll try not to you well. guys as best i can but to be honest i don't even really know my plan but layout right, right now because it's not really in my control like i feel like when it comes to like trying to move somewhere or move houses or like find somewhere to live like you kind of just have to i don't know you kind of just have to like wait it out and like wait for the right place to pop up because it doesn't always like pan out or work out the way you want it to like i knew my lease in the place i was in was going to be up around march april but it didn't mean that i was going to find somewhere in sydney straight away to like move pack up my things and move straight away so my lease in my old place ended i had to move out because i didn't want to renew that which i also did do a little tiktok vlog if you saw that i did explain it a little bit but long term like my plan is to move back to sydney but i'm really struggling like the rent down there is just it has been really hard to find somewhere in sydney and there's also like i've been trying to also like suss out like finding someone to live or like, someone, someone to some live with or somewhere to live or even like sublet if someone's like renting out their room even like as a temporary thing until I do find something. Anyway, I've been looking at all the options and I'm just quite exhausted but so right now I'm just with my boyfriend's families I'm just living there till I like 
can find somewhere. Like I'm also in Sydney next week for like a bunch of work stuff and the Scissor concert, so I'll probably be down there for like a week and then in terms of like officially moving to Sydney, it really just depends until like I find somewhere to live and if I, I can find someone to like yeah. live with. But it's also like, I'm trying to just trust the process and know that the right place will come up at the right time. Yikes, you got very close. Um, but it's so like uncomfortable being in like this awkward limbo stage at the moment. Like I just feel like it's not in my control and there's nothing I can do about it. But like it's just uncomfortable feeling like I'm in this limbo where like, you know, my life's kind of on pause. I'm ready and I want this next chapter of my life, but I'm still stuck in my old one still, if Did that makes sense. And as for me, I have been in Sydney for quite a while now. A year? Yeah, a year. Oh my god, it's a year today! Is it actually? Oh my god! How do you know the exact date? Because I remember the day we got, I got the keys and then my boyfriend moved like to Australia the day after. You would have seen, if you watched like the vlogs at the start of the year, you would have seen my moving vlogs, but I moved into a two bedroom. Me and my boyfriend are living with someone in like a housemate who also is like one of my best friends in the other room so we don't have the whole two bedroom to ourselves because very expensive affording rent in Sydney. Yeah, I like it. It's kind of, it's like fun and having like a friend that's a roomie in your like young twenties is like really fun experience and mm. it's like a good like equal balance of like, you know, me and my boyfriend when we're together like we get the place to ourselves or like when he's out, like me and my friend you just have like we girl have like time. a girl yeah like a girl house so yeah it's really fun but honestly like it can be really hard to find a good roommate or like someone mm. that you really click with and like it's mesh with in like a living really sense hard. it can be really hard we had but a even like segment my... on our podcast a few weeks ago it was like horror housemate stories and like it honestly is like common to but have like horror even like my old place i just had the most amazing thing going on with like my old housemate as well like we just you know got on so well and like we were both in our 20s and she had like a full-time job so even like she was out of the house quite a lot and like I had the place to myself during the day if I was at home working yeah it just worked so well and like that's actually one thing I do miss from my old place already is like just having a great roommate yeah I feel like it's just embracing all of the experiences in your 20s even like mm, but even like sorry what we yeah, just finish. What's in your mouth? Even like living with a partner, though, like I, I don't know. Like I feel like living with a partner like can show your true testaments of the relationship and like each other's living habits and habits, yeah, and capabilities. And when I was younger and growing up, I never envisioned myself like living with a partner like mm. so early on in a relationship. I was like. In my mind, it was just like, oh no, like you don't do that until like five years into the relationship. Yeah, like, I, I think I genuinely said that on YouTube somewhere. Yeah, like, like I, I would so never like, live no, with a partner do until I've been with them for five years. But I years. also think me, myself, ye a couple years ago, I wasn't confident enough to even do something like that with a partner. Like I feel like I was so petrified and terrified of like them seeing my raw, natural like self, like just in my, you know, absolute <laughs> worst that's not a good thing. Not, no, I know, but, like, I genuinely think, like, that's a confident thing with me that I didn't have. Like, I couldn't, you know, I was, I just, I was scared of that. Like, I was scared mm. of that I sort actually of... think I used to think that, too, when I was young, though. Yeah. And so, to me, it was just, like, never I in my mind. How are they going to see me with no fake tan on? Yeah, like, oh, how am I going to maintain my, like, you know, how are they gonna self? How are they going to see me with, like spot treatment on my face yeah or like, i actually you know, think i used to think that i genuinely used to think that too but i don't know being in a relationship now where like we pretty much do well, i'm living with his family now but like even before that like like it's a complete complete we opposite we're spending nearly every night together like don't eat that last bit no i'm so you can leave one left you can have it no just have four um, three of them i feel like it doesn't seem like a big deal to me now like i also feel like living with your partner or being in that kind of environment it does test your relationship a lot and yeah it is a big a big adjustment like for your relationship but it's also like 
not a bad thing to go through early into the relationship because then you're just like working out if that relationship works or not super early rather than waiting like five years down the track and then realizing oh you know what us living together actually doesn't work until like, i do that earlier different on. though like everyone's gonna yeah, have everyone's, different circumstances yeah, everyone and... is so different but i think like from my old expectations my new expectations or like my i just i don't even i don't think it's that big of a deal mm. i can literally be so comfortable in looking my absolute worst and like be fine like i you know i'm not like insecure about it or like yeah, I think I, I think I used to say like I would never live with a partner until we've been together for like four or five years, and like generally thought like we'd be living together until we were like twenty eight. <laughs> like, girl. <laughs> but then again, I had never had a relationship at that time, so yeah. I didn't actually know like how relationships work and like circumstances. And like me yeah. and my boyfriend, we haven't even really had like an in between. We went from living on opposite sides of the globe to like living in a tiny shoebox studio apartment <laughs> yeah hopefully i will be in the Sydney joys soon though because of navigating our 20s yeah i'll be honest i also feel like owning a pet or a dog in your 20s it's definitely not comparison to like having children but I feel like it's a very good start of like i don't know having a responsibility that like relies on you mm -hmm. or is like a little dependent yeah well they um, are dependent so like, i definitely think that's a good like when you because like i feel like in it's your 20s very common nowadays or maybe back in the day as well but oh my god um batman flying through the car park <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> he genuinely was flying um, what was I saying? When you have a dog, I feel like it's so common nowadays, like, in your 20s to own a dog before, like, actually settling down or, like, having a house or, like, having kids. It's all over TikTok. There's, like, you know, own, I'm raising my soul dog in my 20s and stuff like that. But, like, you know, if you have to travel somewhere, like, you need to think about them or, like, if you want to go even out. Even moving, like, trying to move apartments, like, the amount of places I've inquired in and they're like, no, we don't want a pet, like, or we don't, we want, don't dogs. want a dog, mm. which, like, so far it totally makes sense, but it's also, like, got to think about those things because... Before you get... Yeah. <laughs> but we love Rufus, so... Yeah. But, yeah, I feel like Australia needs to be a lot more, like, dog-friendly. Dog because friendly. everywhere I've been overseas, like, New York... UK. The dogs are the in the dogs supermarkets. Are everywhere, like just in the casually. cafes. Even when we went to shops in New York, and there's dogs in just the walking UK, around Sephora. Dogs are sitting in the pub, like in the cafes. Yeah. In and like here, it's a lot of like no pets allowed which in. Which I love. Which I get. Also, yeah, had, I also like, get safety that. Thing, like safety thing, and also like allergies. Like, what if you're, like, severely yeah. allergic to dogs and you and walk into a cafe in and there's a dog sitting right there? I'd really like to do another weekly vlog coming up, though, because mm -hmm. lately we've both kind of established that we're, like, in this little bit of, like, a rut. I don't know, just feeling, like, quite burnt out and exhausted, which I feel like is very normal. Like, everyone goes through waves and... Um, and I, I feel like just, like, being very creatively... Flat. Like, flat. just feeling really flat and, like... To do content, you need kind of like a lot of like inspiration and like mojo to like really be inspired. Be your best. Like, be your best, yeah. And like we've been very like, we're just talking about it, like we've both been very feeling very flat with like all of that. And so it can be really hard to like want to film content or like pick up a camera and like vlog. But then I was also like scrolling on YouTube and a girl's video quite similar to what I'm like talk, talking about popped up and she was just like vlogging and stuff. And I was like, you know what, like maybe we'll just vlog and document all of that as well because I don't know, I guess it's just a part of like a different stage of life of like not everyone is always going to be super, motiva super motivated or like in their like best self or like producing their best, you know, work or feeling super motivated. Yeah, like so any like, job really. Yeah, so I was like, it would be quite, like, I honestly wouldn't mind feeling like a, filming, like, a weekly vlog and just, like, filming kind of, like, getting out of a rut and, like, finding new inspiration and, like, just documenting all of that and, like, talking about it. Because as much as, like, wanting to be, like, our most creative and bubbly selves in a vlog, as much as we want to do that, just, everyone's not always like that. 
and so that's fine there's nothing wrong with that and so I guess you may as well just show both sides of both sides of it don't know if make, any of that makes sense I was saying the other day how I'm like so due for a trip <laughs> like holiday <laughs> like I haven't been since New York mm. I haven't been on like a trip and I find like obviously you know doing content is like one of our main jobs or even like yeah everything we do like we thrive off traveling and like those new experiences and like even I was talking to my friend the other day and I was like just when I travel like I literally am so inspired and creatively like mm -hmm. just on it and like just thriving yeah. and yeah I'm really due for a trip but I just gotta book somewhere to go. I don't think I'll be going anywhere anytime soon unless a work trip comes up which is always like amazing like oh we have 15 minutes should we go soon we probably should go soon we have to head off to a podcast recording soon yeah we're gonna have to um, head to our podcast but thank you for joining our ted talk we will for, probably have like a weekly thoughts. vlog coming soon oh and our i also just our started get with me. again guys I did want to give you guys an update on that, but maybe I can talk more about it in our next your vlog or something. Vlog or something, because then I can like give you guys a bit of a skin update and properly talk about it. And we also really right now, chat but. about things in our podcast as well. So if you ever want more, head over there. I know my heart is this week. Oh my god, same. We're gonna have matching hearts. This is definitely a heart. Mm, so good. Anyways, thanks right. for thank you for listening in. to our weekly thoughts. Alright, bye. Alright, bye. Thanks for listening. Bye.